good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking friends today's project is going to be quick and about the tinkercad gallery of course first step is create and we're going to do a 3d design today is going to be crazy simple we are going to just type ladder for the name and we're going to build a ladder friends i want this to be so efficient check it out we are going to bring out a cube I'm going to tell you we want to use a radius of two. I love showing how neat this looks when you type these. I want you to also see that if we put in our numbers, like right here, I want you to put 130, how it keeps that round edge. Here's what I want you to understand is if I brought out another cube and I did that same two and I took and stretched it, it breaks the edges. So I just wanted to highlight for us to keep that awesome shape, we need to type the parameters. If you stretch it, it breaks the parameters. So we're gonna go 130, I want you to go four, and I want you to change the height to nine. This is gonna be our ladder's side. We're gonna switch it to a gray. I'm gonna make mine out of metal. I'm gonna click on that design and do control D, and I'm gonna shift nudge. This is 10 times the one millimeter, so that's 20. I'm gonna do one more for 30, and bingo, we have just made our awesome sides of our ladder. I'm gonna take this shape and do Control D, that's duplicate. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. I always recommend looking at this from a corner, and we're gonna twist it just like that. Notice it was four of these little 22 and a half degree turns. If you come outside that ring, it goes one degree at a time. I do wanna show you that if you hold shift, snap, snap, it goes 45 degrees at a time. Now we can click on this shape. I'm gonna pick a different color. Because I'm a Lions fan, I'm gonna go with the blue. I also wanna show you how you can do custom blue. See how I can drag that to the exact color I think is awesome. When I click back here, that will stay. And then I'm gonna change the measurement. Remember how this was 30 or three clicks? So I'm gonna change this distance right here to 30 and press enter. To line it up, I'm gonna take these two and I'm going to group them. So now they are one piece. I can grab these two shapes, do a line, and bingo, it goes to the middle and the middle just like that i'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge this back i do want to make one other fun adjustment i'm going to make this a little thinner so it's not quite as wide i'm just going to the height and instead of nine i'm going to make it seven and press enter and then i want to show you how we can use a line make this one the boss and put it in the middle to make these go all the way up, friends, this is one of my favorite tricks. We're going to use duplicate with the control D command. That's the shortcut. I'm going to shift nudge two clicks out. If we do control D again and again, it memorizes that movement and bingo, the rungs are added. To make sure these are aligned perfectly, I'm going to group the rungs. Notice I just grabbed right down the middle and then I chose group. Now I can grab everything and do a line one more time and put it right in the middle, but I had already done the math perfectly and the ladder is fantastic. I am gonna take this and I'm also gonna make it a creation. When I hit your creations, I'm gonna hit create shape. Wait a moment for it to load. I'm gonna call it ladder. You could give it a description, you could give it a tag. Do not lock the part size, that way you can adjust it, and I'm going to hit Save Changes. After a moment, you'll see that it says Shape Created, and now let me show you how to publish it. We're going to hit Settings. I'm going to pick a fun color. Let's go with this light one right here. Make sure the grid shut off and close the settings, and that gives us a good look at our little ladder. At this point, friends, you can show the world what you built, by simply coming back here, clicking on the gear, choosing properties. Of course, it's got the name ladder. I'm gonna add the words tutorial. In my description, of course, it mentions the tutorial is coming soon. It gives you ways to reach me. Of course, I've got some tags. Let's add that ladder tag. And then friends, if you put the tag HLMT23, I search this tag almost every day, friends. And of course, if you share a design, I will give you a reaction finally make your design public and then i always choose attribution no derivatives because i want you to come up here 
follow the tutorial and gain some epic skills. Friends, once you're done posting it, it is so cool if you visit the gallery. Of course, the first thing you'll see are the staff picks. Reactions are always appreciated. And if you're looking at my projects, there is likely a tutorial that shows you how to make your own. Finally, if you go back here, I love to shut off staff picks. Click this button so I can see more designs at once. Of course, friends, check it out. There is my tutorial and there are so many other awesome designs. You can click on them and instantly give them a reaction and instantly give some other users awesome reactions for the great things they're creating. Check out this awesome submarine. Absolutely love it. Of course, friends, I will remind you those reactions are always appreciated. There will be a tutorial. And then finally, if you click on this button right here, you will find all of my designs sorted by likes. Of course, when you click on them, those reactions are appreciated. There will be a tutorial in the description. And if you make something awesome, I would love to see you share it back with that HLMT23 tag. If you want to see the latest things I've created, just switch to recent. I do also want to remind you there are amazing projects under circuits and code blocks. Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing categories for you to check out. Day one favorites, some useful starters, and then finally the Tinkercad essentials. Finally, friends, down on the right, there is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to mention the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.